Welcome to Short View Trading. This is your morning market hit for Monday, 8th of June. What matters today for traders? Well, broad-based strength has persisted in risk assets in recent trading days. You can see that particularly in the cyclical parts of the equity market. Look at transports back up above its 200-day moving average. The US financial sector was the second best performer on Friday after energy and is up 12.3% in the past five trading days. Banks have also rallied sharply in Europe, having tested and held a key level in March, April and May. And all of that's been helped by a sharp steepening of the yield curve, with the tens twos part of the curve at its steepest level since early 2018 albeit only just. And with that, safe haven assets have unsurprisingly been weak. The Japanese yen, for example, have sold off while equities have rallied. And gold has continued to roll over in recent trading days. So in the near term, upward momentum is overwhelming markets with certain indices breaking above key technical levels. You can see the S&P, for example, breaking above its 76.4% Fibonacci retracement level. The Nasdaq has just broken out to new highs, albeit only just. And encouragingly for the bulls, those moves were on higher volume, suggesting that conviction in this rally is reasonably high. Less encouragingly for the bulls though, some degree of complacency is beginning to emerge in markets. The put to call ratio, for example, shows that downside put protection in portfolios is low. And our sell-off indicator is building to high levels. This model counts the days that risk appetite in global markets is persistently strong. And once it reaches plus 20, it suggests that levels of euphoria are running high and that a wave of risk aversion is likely. So where does that leave us? How are we trading this equity market? Have a look at our Daily Rag publication for detail on that. And what are we watching this week? Well, out of the US tomorrow, we get the NFIB small business optimism reading for May. We get the Jolts job openings number for April. We also get the Fed this week, Wednesday evening, London time, policy decision and press conference out this week from China. We'll be getting total social financing as well as money supply measures. So that'll be watched closely. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Do join us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. Thanks for listening.